Welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. Uh, this is Jay Rodman, and I'm loading up my uh, now newly empowered party to um, head out um, to find the water of life in Arborea. By newly empowered, I mean Lillian Dusprey is now a high-level archmage. You can cast spells like Batch Spell. Oh, look at them all fill in. It's so nice. Um, so in the main, in the in the main quest of the game, we've been sent out to retrieve to bring back Valerian from the land of Arborea and uh, or if he won't come then or can't come bring back his magical bow and arrows uh, here's our flow chart for what we have to do uh, we found out he's actually dead um, I assume Tarjan somehow arranged for him to be dead so our first hero is or demigod or something is so much dead meat anyway so as a substitute we need to get his items from his tomb the king won't let us in until until we get do we kill uh sloth of garnath Gar garnath and bring his head to the king uh, i guess the king really hates slotha and in order to do that, we need to get the Knight Spear um, from the tower. And in order to do that, we need Water of Life from under the lake. So that's what we're up to right now. Uh, traveling around the multiverse requires our Chronomancer to cast spells. Such as Arbo, the spell to travel to Arborea. Okay, so we need Pharaoh Fist, Solaria Bree, Hammer of Wrath, five forty one. Okay. Yeah, there's my Let's Play files. <laughs> okay, um... So we've just landed here and we're gonna say no to Hawkslayer again because I like making him feel bad. And we just need to head a little east and over to the lake. Ah, we have to kick the lake. I wonder if I kick the pit if we get the same result. Beneath the lake's wave, you see a building. Do you wish to enter? Yes leads to a prompt for Dungeon Disc A. Here we see you're drowning. Uh, I'm gonna solve that by having Lillian do spray cast Gil. Now the party can breath. 
<laughs> it really bothers me. Okay, uh, I need a new zone, or maybe, should I call this a part of Arborea? I don't know, it seems like a stretch. So, new region will be Crystal Palace. I'm going to start us here. I don't know how big it is. Uh, stairs up are here. Whoa, not, I don't want pink stairs. Um, and we just stepped this way. Sure looks like one, two, th about four north, which oh, that's lucky. And around four to the south too. So this is probably not going to be the right size, but for now, I'm just going to put down zero as our first axis indicator, axis indicator, whatever. Offset? I don't know. Stairs and something special to the south. Spinner to the north. Something special. Special to the east, but I don't know what. Uh, and we have stuck squares, which I'm not a big fan of. So there's a trap down there, uh, one of these two spots. Oop. these descriptions are ever going to be practically useful. Like, will I have to refer back to them? So, uh, to read it out loud, we have, the palace's beauty has been washed out by the centuries beneath the water but its majesty is undiminished. The water is dark, yet warm, and you, an air breather, feel curiously welcome. My first question is, how do we know it's been underwater for centuries? Maybe there are telltales? I don't know. I don't know how I know that. Um... I don't even know it was ever not underneath the water. Or is that not implied by that statement? Anyway, let's venture out. I think the way that the, um, Air breathing spell works is like most buff spells. And by that I mean it lasts a while and then it turns off. 
that's how I think it works. We don't get an icon for it, I think we just find out that we're drowning. Uh, I think there's a wall and then a door on the right and then the rest gets kind of murky. actually a little further up than I realized. And this is and the auto map's easier to read than the screen. It's sort of unfortunate. Okay, a spinner is near. It's still near. So pretty sure we're not in it. I also didn't see a flash. There's a spinner to the north somewhere, too. Okay, um, we have some repeat monsters, the Sable Lich, but the rest are unclear. Giant Squid and Octopi. I seem to remember these feeling harder than they... I don't know, somehow they look just friendly. It's like, oh, it's an octopus, I'll just kill it, no big deal. I mean, that's how you usually respond to octopus, right? Actually, what I do is I stay away from them. But that's a side. Um, do I even need to be afraid of this lich anymore? Maybe not, because I don't have any really low level characters to die trivially. Did some damage. But didn't seem like enough damage to care about. Someday, Elena's gonna have to learn how to hit things. But when I thought the creatures in here were like a little mean, it might have just been my first activity in Arborea. I think what I did is I came in here first because it just presented itself, mapped a bunch of it, wondered why I was here, left, had to come back later. Uh, when I got heavily hinted that I needed something from it. Okay, that's definitely the spinner. 
Facebook. I think that's just a nuisance room. It's like a little dead end with a spinner in it. Why? Okay, let's try this room. I'm drowning. Go. And another spinner. Spinners make it hard to tell what you're looking at. Okay, so there's the door to the north. This has doors north and east. Try east first. Oh, another spinner. Great. I'm going to try some direction. That was west. West again. That's a wall. Okay, so I should I can know that I'm facing west when there's a door and it says a spinner is near. So there's, there was a door north, and I went in there and found a dead end. Great. There's a door to the south. That's the one I want, I guess. Oh, and this little closet is sticky. Could it be that there is a spinner to the south as well? I'm gonna just run from stuff until I get past this goddamn spinner. You know, maybe there's another path. Let's go south. Phase door. No, can't use phase doors here. All right. Holy moly, I just managed to find my way south. That, that was annoying. Okay, we got water demons and jaws. Um Bring around ballad. Uh, I don't know. Night lance on the water demons. Didn't kill any.
Okay, Night Lance number two. Killed plenty. Oh, look at Jaws. I'm sure that, sh that picture's gonna get reused, but somehow I really like it. I don't know how it makes sense. We're underneath the palace and that's on the surface, but whatever. It's a freaking shark. And I like it. Oh, that's going to improve her armor class just a little bit. Drop these robes. Why is she carrying a lamp? Just, just use that. Okay. There's something special I think is south of here, so I think this this little area is pointless. Okay, so who has the leaves? What happens if I use them? Okay, they're, they're basically the same as the spell. So maybe I could like fill my inventory with leaves. Shade Piranha. I don't know what the deal is with shade. Like, is that something about like whatever curses befall in this place? Is that a Tarjan thing? So here there's nothing, but here there's something. So if I knew how far around, I, I would, wherever the wall is, I would know that it's through, it's just two away from the wall. So like, if that was the wall, I would know the trap was here. Oh, and this spot is also sticky. Octopus. Um, Elendor is going to cast cold on those water sprites that are far away. That's it for now. I wonder how a cold spell works underwater. Is like everything freezes near it and then there's a big ice cube of water nymphs? That could be kind of gross. Especially later. Okay, so Jaws summons friends. Or tries to. Thor's hammer. Uh, I suspect this is going to be a warrior. 
warrior weapon. So I managed to get the right room, room I wanted the first time. The question is, how will I get back out? Oh, I got the right one both times. Okay. Yibon sharks. Are Yibon sharks? Like, I just feel like it has to be Ebon or Shade. How many hit points do they have? More than 60. More than 100. So, I don't know. Might lands with them. Somewhere between 100 and 350? No, more. Some of them have more than that. So the range is like 250 ish to maybe 500 ish? Their hit points. Less than seven fifty. So right across from the first door, there was another door. I didn't notice it. Okay. I'm willing to believe that. After that, there was a door on the left and the wall on the right. Okay. Where eels? Flying fish, flying fish, and 15 Atlanteans. This is a lot of enemies. How about two mind blades? Is that enough to do any real damage? Who cast that? The eel? The were eel? One of, some of Atlanteans are being killed at these small values. And yeah, the flying fish are weak. They start really far, they come close right away. They can summon friends, 
but I think they're easy to take down once they're in range. The second mind blade, we're taking out a bunch of Atlanteans. The wear eels are hardier than that, though. It's Night Lance, the eels. See what happens. They're like electric eels or something because they shock us. And they're poisonous. They're full of fun tricks. Took extra damage from that Night Lance, I think, because Night Lance is like 200 to 400, and they took 500. Okay, good thing that expired. I was getting tired of that tiny view distance. Okay, so we're standing here. And there are two walls on the left, followed by a door. The right is all walls, and I think it's three down is the distance that we can see. Yeah. It's also the edge of the map. So now we have our axes a little better. One, two, three, four. The limit is five north. Let me make another label, please. Five. One, two, three, four, south. Seems to agree. Got five too wide structures, which amounts to ten total north to south. Twenty eight flying fish, seven wear eels, seven ebon sharks. I'm going to use a broad spectrum spell of some kind, though. Oh, I guess Elendor defended? Whatever. Rhyme. I should speed this up. It's 
the sharks are a little tougher. There with the wear eels in the middle. Put a fist on those sharks. That should do it. Yeah. That's odd. There's all this space, they have one door and it goes nowhere. Giant python, that looks more like an eel to me. Piranhas and lock glitches. Hold and the lock liches. Um, what's what else is there? There's these shade piranhas. I think they deserve a night lance. And then a general, general rhyme. I don't know. Piranhas sound scary so I'm making them all dead The question is, what poisoned Grisnok? Poisonous piranhas? Poisonous octopus? Is that a thing? Okay. We do know that there's a trap here-ish, which we kind of already knew. Uh, we actually already knew the trap was when we could when we got here we could see it, so we actually know it's there. And this is a no no. This is a hit point loss zone. Another case where from the far wall there's a trap. We only knew where the far wall was. Uh, 
I would like to find out about how poison darts work underwater. Oh, I'm drowning. Looks like there's like a fourth wall segment there to me, but I guess no. What is my current? Oh yeah, the intensity just, I can't, I can't get it to just stick. I made the guidelines fainter, so there's no confusion. Yep, there's stairs over there. I kind of knew that. There's a trap there. Yep. I'm choosing to attack the wear eels, assuming they're going to move forward. Rhyme. Everything should die. The real question is how we, do we hit all of these things with ice in a way that has no effect on us and no effect on our ability to move around underwater afterwards. It is a mystery. So I wonder who's my next character to have a meaningful level up. Probably Elendor. Adamantite Helm she has. I don't think Grisnak has one though. He has a mithril helm, yep. And the mithril helm, is it useful to Elena? Do I already have a mithril helm? No, I have a random helm, which is better better than a mithril helm. What kind of helm does Chantrell have? An Adamant's helm. So I don't have much junk now. Uh, let me get rid of this trap. I don't think I need it as like a net 
Education aid or anything. Okay, single Sable Lich. I will fight. Wonder if Soul Lips whip scales with your level, because I don't remember it doing that much damage. Water demons. Did not die though. Now that I've made the uh, lines fainter, I can see the walls I forgot. Even if it doesn't work, I really kind of appreciate, even if it doesn't kill a lot of things, I appreciate being able to have two casters to each kick out, you know, 400 damage to everything. It's just satisfying. Flame knife, a flame horn. I think I got a flame horn in my Ciara Bree crash game. Oh, I have Ag's arrows I can't use. <laughs> I just assumed I got a fancy bow to get that Ag's arrows with them. There's only one doorway headed west. It feels like all of that exploration was sort of a big antechamber. further away. That is surprising. This is a big room.
there's a something there, which I think means hit point drain. And after that, a spinner. Uh, I don't know what just. I guess I just repositioned the uh, the view. Something, something. Okay. East, some more. Turn around. Oh, a stuck square, of course. So, one of the somethings ahead is right here. And the other one is here. I think the spinner is here. Okay. Um. All to the north and south. off for quite a distance. Not quite that far. Could be a spinner to the south. Mm. Yep. A spinner to the north from this location. I feel like a Kraken is not going to be as scary as I want it to be. Okay, so this is the 
first square where I can see the spinner, which means it's one off the bottom. And I think the bottom is here. I guess I know that this is 10 north south, and this is quite a lot more than 10 east west. We have to go through a spinner. Oh, we ha now I'm in a spell point drain room. I don't like that at all. There's a hit point drain room right next door. Oop. Something ahead. I think that's going to be another hit point drain. Uh, that's a lot of enemies. And me with barely any spell points. Cold on the giant the sheet piranhas. Okay, so let's figure out the east-west axes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, fourteen. Okay, so it's 10 north-south, 15 east-west. Is this the right, the right way? Yes. Okay, now let's, let's uh, bump it into place.
I kind of want to just finish mapping this room and then call it. So I don't want to fight again. Okay, so the end spot here is indeed Oh, come on. Look, I'm take me out of keyboard mode. Is uh, a hit point drain, sure. But what's this square? Okay, it's a spell point refill. That's what it is. Okay, um, I'm going to save this here. So here's our overall progress on this dungeon. A mm, little less than halfway. But we did spend some time getting here. I think next session we'll finish it up. See you.